and we're done, then I'm going to walk out to the lounge. And I don't even know how far along we are in this talk. Please go next, decimal parity. Oh, it's explaining abjad. The pattern repeats, 1, 2, 4, 8, 7, 5, 1, 2, 4, 8, 7, 5. You can see the pattern repeating now, even though that's growing so quickly. And I won't explain it. Go ahead. And thank you for, uh, Lisa, for being the, what are you? The slide changer. Maker's Gothic Quantum Hologram Unicity. These slides, these chapters are really short. They sh we haven't even gotten to the big chapters yet. The complete three base 10 superluminal holographic hyperspheres. Next, please. And they cycle. I should have explained. I could have explained those for hours, what happens, but it ain't happening. Electron shear. That has to do with insulation. I wouldn't wish this on anybody. Even it took me forever. I, when I wrote my original book, I didn't, even, I didn't even dwell on it. I just couldn't do it for people. It's just too much. But I will tell you this. You're used to counting in multiples of one. You are not used to counting in multiples of four. Four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24. 30, uh, 24, 28, which equals 10 is 1, 32 equals 5, 36 is 9. But what never changes, why those circ well, you didn't even know about the circuits yet because I haven't shown you on the Taurus. 1, 2, 4, 8, 7, 5, 1, 2, 4, 8, 7. What never changes? I used to have a saying I put on all my posters, but it, only I knew what I was talking about, so I stopped using it. I used to always say, the template never changes. The template never changes. This circuit must always exist. If you can find anything in existence, any mineral, any periodic table element, anything that doesn't have this principle inside it, then this discovery is false. So now I'm doing multiples of seven. Seven, five, which is from 14, 21, 28. Uh, let's see, seven times five is 35 is eight. Seven times six is 42 is six. Seven times seven is 49 is four. Uh, seven times eight is 56, 11, two. Uh, 7 times 9 is 63 equals 9, then 10 times 70 is 70, and 77 is 14 is 5. So it just keeps going, that pattern, 7, 5, 3, 1, 8, 6, 4, 2, 9. So what is happening here is the circuit's still there, 1, 2, 4, 8, 7, 5. And that circuit is a ratchet. It always can only go one way, and it keeps getting tighter and tighter, and it explains how times work. You're, this is all about time. This is explaining time. And I haven't explained time because I'd be tongue-tied trying to explain time right now. Okay, let's keep going. But it's a ratchet. Natural insulation, that's really what I wanted to explain. Keep going, it's just too much for me. <laughs> Next, please. Prime, this is it. Good luck. The level of civilization is never more advanced than its mathematics. Alfredo Nava, close friend. He bailed me out of jail a few times, what can I tell you? <laughs> base 10 is a living hologram. From 1 to 100, there are only three true 3D base number counting systems. This right here, if they offered you anything in the universe, don't exchange it. It's that profound. From 1 to 100, there are only three true 3D base number counting systems, which are base 10, base 26, base 50. To create higher dimensional AI neural networks, conventional mathematics fails to realize that bi the binary code uh, CPU processor circuits must come in pairs and that they are calculating in opposite directions. So all computers that are all doing one calculation one, day, one way and the binary code doesn't realize that you've got to have a reverse flow to be effective and efficient. Okay, oh, whoa, 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 okay, that's fine. Radix 26, Radix 10, Radix 50. Trust me, there's numbers in there, and it works. And there are now two circuits in this torus, four circuits in this torus, eight circuits, no, no, four circuits in this torus, six tor circuits, they keep, keep increasing two pairs every time a prime is squared. There is no base system between these systems because this is a 3D system. So this is quantum exponential transition. OK, next please. It really is quantum. I know it seems like the word's battened around, but it really is quantum. Um, but you have to tie the quantum into the hologram. And we're not going to be able to do that today, because I didn't make those slides I remembered just now. The whole is in the parts, is above, so below. Only, 
and that's showing all the prime radixes. So that's the, you can see, and there's no base, it's not arbitrary. You can't have hexadecimal. Even the binary code doesn't work, believe it or not. That's why our computers are so primitive. Three-dimensional superluminal holographic hyperspheres. Next, please. And that's the base 10, different perspectives. Next, please. Showing the surface. Next, please. Next, please. Next, please. Next, please. Ten minutes? Yeah. Next, please. Okay, now this is back again. Now you see the circuits, and they're always in pairs. This is going 1, 2, 4, 8, 7, 5. Oh, no, come back. Prime numbers are fundamental to the most. Okay, is it changed by itself, or am I okay? Okay, going that way, that way, it's, always, it's following the curve. This is called the uh, leading edge, this is called the trailing edge. It's like a fan blade. Again, it's focusing all energy, it's always focused on the hub, which is the source. Um, and, it's, and, and then there's the 396693, the gap space now. You always see it. You are used to 1 and 8. Here it is. Let's see, 1 and 8. 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, but you're not used to seeing now multiples of, um, in this case, this is multiples where, this is multiples of 4, 4, 8, 12. All the multiplication series have juxtapositioned themselves and switched to new multiplication series. It's mind-boggling. And I pieced it, I figured it out. I pieced it together. They say I have the most coherence ever done in mathematics. When you get the director of Microsoft, of he, Russell P. Blake, Future Operating Systems, and I have a chapter on him later on in the papers he wrote on my work, to devote his life to your work, and that's advanced operating systems, you better have something incredible, incredibly good. So, like on this, this, so this we were using this model, which is one and eight vertically, but I didn't explain to you that the horizontal axis was multiple to the five, five, 10, 15, 20, because that's a five. 2 fives is 10 is 1, next number must be a 6, 3 times 5 is 15 is 6, 4 times 5 is 20 is a 2, 25 is 7. I have to make a private personal point, uh, point to Indy over here. Indy, do you see why you complain to me and you say I am so repetitive about how I'm incessant about how I say I need that interactive whiteboard, right? But do you realize I can expand and contract? And didn't I say I needed it for the hologram? And do you see how differently I'd be teaching right now if I could had that uh, where I could s s scroll in and out? Uh, you realize. So I'm crippled because these numbers are too little for them. They're just too little. But if I go look for multiples of four, and I want to say two fours is eight, well, there's an eight, and three fours is 12 is three. So my horizontal axis is four and five. That's why that symbol was an X, Y, Z. Who would have ever thought that multiplication series are right angles of a 3D, 3D what? Yeah. And now you can't see the X, the Z axis because it's tangential, but remember, it's revealing itself by always the number that's there never moves. And the functions move. Here I'm going doubling. 4, 8, it's really being cleft. 16, 32. And the palindrome 396. And they're really nested vortices that are going in and out. They're compressing because they're eddy currents. Because when you stand at the side of a river, you see eddy currents. When you look at the air, eddy currents from smoke. This thing has eddy currents. It, the skin is excited. It's, it's kinetic energy. This thing is dynamic. It's aerodynamic. I'm sorry, what? This is also 10, 26, 50, too. Uh, God, speak loud for me. This is 10, 26, 50, also, right? That's what... Yes. I don't understand. Oh, no, this, it works in that, but this is all... I didn't explain this that much. I kind of glossed over it. You did, his question's great. No, 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 no. There's a problem. Why this works so hard? Why doesn't everybody figure this out? Because there are three separate toruses. Okay, that are following the same principles that actually combine. And in base 26, there's more. Oh. And I'm not showing base 26 okay. or base. These are only, I put these oh. three here because I don't expect to live forever or much too long. And I want you to have the complete information. So because my work's almost done. Your work's just beginning. And you ha this is for base 10, which is all you really need to make 
energy and superconductors, this is all you need. These three torses, and if you've seen what my team and people have done together with this and how it works, anyway, this is a schematic for an energy machine. And the rodent coil is famous for being an energy machine. Most people think it's crazy and most people don't make it correctly. But anyway, I did the base 26 and the base 50, and my students did it for other reasons, but or actually the discoverers, because it was actually a professor who figured out that um, the primes must be squared, but that's for another class and another day. But the reason I, I did it to ramp it up, to make it more powerful, I did this to design a spaceship that can go anywhere in the universe. And I actually was selected by Defense Science Magazine by the editor, James Martin, to speak at Airspace America under power and propulsion systems. And he said I had the most revolutionary propulsion system ever created for outer space. And I did it. And I had a wonderful time. And I spoke to thousands of nuclear physicists who were in the conference room. It was an auditorium bigger than here. And um, so my, my application, first application of this was uh, space power propulsion systems. Mm -hmm. Pretty wild. OK, next, please. Uh, the most common type of encryption used today. Let's keep going. It's the RSA algorithm. Next, please. And again, thank you, everybody. I know this is kind of a b bizarre class. Mathematical proof of omniscient being. Oh my, oh, my friends, we shall not come again, but will conceal God's secret in his scriptures and his books, has been by one mighty and bounteous indeed. This is just a single line from a long poem. And why did I put that? Oh, my friends, we shall not come again, but we'll conceal God's secrets in his scriptures and his books. Because they didn't believe in that. It was a woman, and she was the maid of heaven, and she, she was bringing a revelation. And they mocked her and laughed at her, and, be, and she, she was beguiled. And she said, she we're leaving, and we're concealing all this knowledge and secret in the books and the scriptures. And that's where I got it. And remember, I told you that. It's, it's, and this is how every letter has a number. So now you, have, you get to see how I did it. And so there's the letters, there's the translation, and then the silent and the letter. And they are powers of 10. So you have some as high as 1,000 and 900 and 800. And it's, it's a part of religion and revelation. There's a, it is not superstitious. It has to do with the energy. Next, please. And you're lucky you got that, the abjad, because... We, I could have easily left this out. I was talking about the scriptures and languages. Next, please. But no subject is taboo for me. I don't worry about walking on eggshells. Um, keep going. It's kind of some stuff we just grabbed. Keep going, please. So we have gotten very far in this uh, presentation. Anyway, this is a real serious one. It was underpinning nested vortices or micro vortices. This is probably as serious as you get. The nation that controls magnetism controls the universe. Next, please. That was the editor of James Tracy. And there's all the toruses and the base systems. So I guess we didn't show this yet, so they never saw it. There's the base 10. This is the groove, the gap space. Now watch what happens over here. We did a lot of work on this last night. Because that's the 39669 that goes with the binary code that nobody knows is so important. And I call it the gap space or equal potential major groove. And see how I leave that big space there? That's for the eddy currents. That's for the flux fields because this coil is a pinwheel. It's focused on here. Not like how other people do it today. Today it's so many turns and so many wraps and they try and contain the magnetic field. That's not what I'm doing. Okay, next please. Thank you. That was a wonderful illustration. Lisa did a great job. Okay, next please. So I'm very kind of like a, a horse with blinders on, zero velocity rodent coil. I'm really trying to show how to make coils, but you don't really say, well, what's so big about a coil? Well, every motor in the world is based on a coil. You couldn't have a, this room being, we couldn't see right now without it. Okay. And this is base 26, the eye of the needle, toroidal pinch. So I don't make toroidal fields. Every coil that they're using to make electricity is called toroidal. The fields goes to the horizontal. God's coils go towards the vertical. They're poloidal fields. Poloidal pinch is at the primal point of unity is where spirit originates as it travels in a straight line along the W axis. At the primal point of unity, everything inverts. The vortex renews, cleans, and purifies. And that's four conductors now instead of two. Thank you. Next, please. And that work was actually done by 
one of my students, not by me. I did this one, the base 10, and then they just took it and advanced it. Base 26, radix 50, superluminal holographic hypersphere nozzles, blah, blah, blah. Lost it. Let's keep going. I'm sure it was fun. Radix 26. Do you want to give them a good view of these? Yeah. Oh, okay. So just keep going. I want them to see them before we're out of here. Oh. Next, please. Matthew, I know we got to quit. I'm just showing them something. That's cool. Are you still using the mic? Yeah. Oh, no, the little mic, I'm not. Would you like it? It's right here. Yeah. The, the, yeah, I thought we get it. I, it was uh, hurting the recording, they said. So they put me on a different one. I'm not going to throw it. Sorry Thank you very much. You didn't interrupt. Can you somehow give us a few extra minutes? But you, they said we're done. We're already past deadline. What can you do for us, Matthew? Uh, not me. You've got to talk to Jerry. Who's, where's Jerry? Jerry, you're in charge. How much longer can I have? We're going to let you go a little past two. You will let me go yeah, a little past two. 2 10, the video will end. OK. 2.10, OK. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's very kind of you. We have a half an hour. So we can do the final part of the presentation, I hope. Say that again for me. I hope we can do the final part of it, the part with God. Thank you. <coughs> so this is base 50. Um, there are four conductors. One, two, no, six conductors. One, two, three on this side of the gap. This is now the gap space. And there's one, two, three on this side. This came from seven. See the seven right there, which is the prime? Spirit is emanating in multiples of seven. Before it was in multiples of three. I know that's pretty wild. It has to do with the prime. And prime has to do with the spray. And the thing is, is this is the empty space right along here. And this gets longer, but never wider. And this is um, the flex fields and the nested vortices. And these are each multiples of different series. And this pair matches, this one matches this one over here in how it works, but a mirror of the multiple. The mathematics that are transpiring in this is so complicated. Thank heavens I have a team of expert mathematics, mathematicians that have contributed to this. So thank you, Farron. Thank you, Randy. Thank you, Chuck. Thank you, Peter. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you, Scott. You know, there's a lot of Scots out there. Um, OK, we'll continue. Next, please. Next, please. That's a higher base system. So prime numbers are fundamental to everything. Next, please. Next, please. Next, please. Next, please. That is amazing. Next, please. Next, please. I almost, uh, when I did this work by hand, I did all my illustrations by hand. And it really, I, I wish I was exaggerating. It almost killed me. I would lose my voice at the end of the day. I couldn't talk. It'd take 30 minutes to be able to even say a word. It was so grueling on me. The Radix 10 CPU team. Oh, this is Russell Blake. Uh, perfect algorithm software, uh, it just goes on. Continue. Uh, Russell Blake, performance manager, advanced operation systems. So he, my life, my work always derails everybody's lives and takes over. And he would have ended up devoting his life to this. He says if he would met me, he would have said it was impossible. And, but once, anyway. It's an endorsement. He did the work. He discovered that my work was into the interior as well. In other words, the rodentorus is three-dimensional. We'll go quick. Next, please. I, I share these endorsements. I think he says, he goes on, he discovered atomic modeling. Now he says, he's. Com I wanted you to go that quick. I, I do want quick. He says, I'm completely convinced that the road in Taurus will lead to revolutionary advances in art and science and usher a new age of technology surpassing those brought on by such inventions. So he says, this is a bigger invention than the steam engine, the combustion engine, and the electric power generator. I'm about to show his resume, and you'll be blown away. And I'm used to this. Nobody gets this kind of endorsements. Nobody. Um, there are a variety of revolutionary applications possible, and he goes on to that since there's no iron core. And the, the, he's such a brilliant person. He said, because the field's perpendicular to the field, which conventional coils, to, to the field of co conventional coils. That is a big sentence. And that's because it's poloidal. And poloidal is what you use for fusion. Next, please. 
So there's no question, and I'm not an engineer, that I'm, but I'm too engineering this. Uh, he, this is a quote from him. He said, this fantastic coherence has existed since the beginning of time, but is yet to be harnessed by mankind, and the potential is truly mind-boggling, he said. Russell Blake, Microsoft. So who is Russell Blake? Well, we know HP, Tandem, Solaris, Adoptive, Sun Microsystems, Microsoft Corporation, okay? He is the build and lead the team for the operating system. He invented the, um, invent and co-develop Windows NT, create the Windstone Industry Standard Benchmark, author of the book Optimizing Windows NT. He was the systems, this is his title, Systems Performance Manager, Advanced Operating Systems, 1088 from 993. Do you think I ever worry about getting endorsements or refer references? Don't need them. I don't got the problems that anybody else has. Sun Microsystems, Director of Operations, Software Division, because my student is a Director of Operations for Software Development. Architect and created a department to handle the software quality. This is kind of funny because it tells you what really happens inside the, in, when new technology evolves. He says he, to ha, to, he says to, a department to handle software quality and release pub, publications and facilities during explosive growth. That's why it's funny, because they started with two employees to 140 employees. Can you imagine that? The software industry, did anybody ever know how big it's gonna be? Uh, develop software lifecycle process, work with AT&T to develop a unified version of Unix. This guy was on the ground floor of everything. That's, he's on the ground floor of Vortex Space Mathematics. Adoptive Intelligence Corporation, Vice President, that's not of engineering. That's, that's not, he's not punching a time card. <laughs> okay, manage software, electrical and mechanical engineering to complete the constructions of a high precision assembly robot managed for manufacturing facilities, it goes on. Solaris Computer, Vice President, Software Development. Recruit and manage a cohesive team of strong software professionals, it goes on. Tandem Computers, manage so of software performance quality, future systems division, blah, blah, blah. Stop. You would think I would keep on going. I am not putting my references up because he does not want to be known. But there is a person here that I work with, not at this moment, because I'm not working with anybody at this moment until I get stabilized financially. But he, his references are as good or better than this in the field of biology. And he has figured out the secret of everything in the universe. He has put so many decades, I'm just quoting him, that's why I said everything, because that's what he said. He knows the secret of life. I haven't shown you how this relates to biology yet, microbiology. So there are other references, but we'll just keep going. I don't need to read it anymore. He went to Antioch one morning. Say it louder, please. He went to Antioch. So what morning you saw that? Yeah. yeah. Antheon? Antioch. 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 He, really, he when I was over at his house in um, Hawaii, he showed me he had just done a sculpture, and it was a, it was. I always say everything's funny. It's not funny. He was showing a picture of David, uh, the prophet, I think, or I forget, no Abraham, and it, it was no. He did a sculpture, and the sculpture was the title. And he was explaining to me. He said God had just told him to circumcise himself. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, how would you react? He, he had taken that emotional and put it into a sculpture. The first man... She's telling me to keep moving. <laughs> but that's kind of the... Who, who would ever think of doing a sculpture? Okay, uh, next. I don't even know what we're doing right here. The numerical formula for spirit. Bio oh, we're going to biology. Here we go. Next, please. There's DNA. See the big gap space? That's called the major, major groove. Then we'll have the minor groove. Spirit reticulates DNA. Evolution is not random chance. DNA's double spiral helix has a bioetheric template guiding evolution. I wish I was kidding. I'm not. There's uh, the double helix, but no one ever models the third component, which is the bioetheric template, the flux field. There's the eddy currents, the nested vortices. I said it controls a spaceship. It controls DNA. It controls all information, sister strand unraveling, mitosis, cellular communication. I will read this because this is supposed to be what I'm really doing, my profession now. The higher dimensional 396, 693, ah, little dots below. 
we were, we were raising on. Show in red are responsible for DNA mitosis information encryption. DNA with the line compressing and decompressing underpinning nested vortices control amino acid and molecule cleavage and receptor sites. Spirit reticulates DNA. Evolution is not random chance. DNA is double spiral. Helix has a biotheric template guiding evolution. Next, please. Yeah. That means that evolution is not haphazard trial and error. Beca and the nested vortices on DNA align, while on the torus they are staggered. DNA's double spiral helix number maps, spirits, you know, sex and active flux, which shown red and parts angle and ratio of DNA while controlling amino acid. Alignment of the underpinning nested vortices, world boundary condition, facilitates mitosis, sister strand unraveling and duplication. Next, please. We're going to have a fun one in a second. This is it. I like this. This person's not alive anymore, this artist. Okay, he's in the world up above. And he took my funny symbol. Remember I said everything's about angle and ratio? And there's normally the three and six. And he showed how DNA is matching what we've been looking at all along. Mm. The double spiral helix. And that's the 396693. God's pulsating apogee and DNA are one. Gene splicing. I probably would change that to God's. Anyway. Gene splicing using polydrone 396693, flux field on it should be cap. Underpinning nested vortices ends all disease and grows in limited food. Because it's the end of the presentation, we never got to making our corrections. This numerical formula for spirit is the key to age regression and life extension. I'm a little top heavy in the front and a little weak in the back. The tabernacle of unity. And this is scripture. And um, Randy, Randy likes this so much, and Randy's contributed so much. So out of consideration to Randy, I'm going to read it. And since he hath ordained, this is sacred scripture out of the religion, Baha'i faith, because there's technology in our religion. And since he hath ordained heat to be the source of motion and ascent the cause of attainment to the desired goal, he hath therefore kindled with the mystic hand that fire that dieth not and sent it forth into the world. Is this wild? That this divine fire might by the heat of the love of God. You know I believe in this. This is my religion. This is sacred holy scripture to me. Um, he hath therefore kindled with the mystic hand that fire that dieth not and hath sent it forth into the world that this divine fire might by the heat of the love of God guide and attract all mankind to the abode of the incomparable friend. This is the mystery enshrined in your book that was sent down after time, a mystery which hath unto now remained concealed from the eyes and hearts of men. This divine fire burneth of itself with neither fuel, this is Randy's favorite part, neither fuel nor fume, that it might draw away such excess moisture and cold as are the cause of torpor and weariness, of lethargy and despondency, and lead the entire creation to the court of the presence of the all-merciful, Whoso hath approached this fire hath been set aflame and attained the desired goal. And whoso hath removed himself therefrom hath remained deprived. Baha'u'llah. He's referring approaching Baha'u'llah. And these are the scriptures that I said. And no one can discuss this math with me unless they've learned the scriptures. Because God has his own calculus language. Oh, could you go back to him? Because I want to show what those scriptures were. And that we actually reached the end of the whole thing? That's beyond belief. So we got the breath of the spirit, that's Lisa's favorite, tablet of the hori, tablet of the virgin, o of the dove, discourse of the temple, fire tablet, integration of his rapture and call. These are all uh, sacred scripture tablets and epistles and missives and books. Tablet of the immortal youth, hidden words. I love the hidden words. Uh, you, uh, life force of God's throne, the seven valleys and the four valleys. That's what I was memorizing, repeating to you, the long healing prayer. It's supposed to be imbued with special potency. Prayers and meditations, very beautiful, very thick. These are all Baha'i sacred scriptures. The Book of Surah 2 is how I became a Baha'i. I stayed up for two days and two nights reading it, didn't go to sleep because I know it's the most important thing in life. It's called progressive revelation. The most important thing is to recognize the sacred scripture, the book, the religion, the prophet for the time which you're living now. God passes by, the dawn breakers, that's the history of the religion, that's the history of the religion. God passes by, Baha'i Faith Glossary by Marjorie Gale and Baha'iWorship.com. I'm going to put up all these scriptures as a, a audio books eventually at that site. And that's a logo. Wait, I designed, if you go back to that, we should have it bigger. Could, you, could we have one next time of the Baha'i Falcon really big, for me big? 
that bird, I used the mathematic. That's my logo times the by plus and minus in a circle. Um, all the mathematical functions combined together. Would you like to go back to the falcon? Sure. And I have to tell you guys that I'm a little bit feeling bad. You're so supportive and so good, and I still feel that I didn't make my point thoroughly enough or, or prove my case accurately enough, <coughs> if you can believe that. See how the 9 would be there, the 3 would be there, the 6 would be there, and the infinity, and that's where that Mobius, the primal point of unity, would be right there. It says Baha'i, the day of God. So I used it to design the logo out of crystals. And so it's a, a fountain of numbers. Thank you. You survived. You survived, Marco. Wow. I don't know how you can survive me. <laughs> um, any questions? Everything was brought to bear to do this. No one asked a question, but I'll tell you the answer. There's endless kinds of miracles. Some never repeat. Some are unique. Some are a one-of-a-time kind of experience. You shouldn't wait around for them to happen again. You can have the sky open up. Angels come down in the clouds. You can have a voice speaking to you. You can have a white light. There are, everything's real. It all works. And you have to remember you've got to do everything. You've got to do everything in life because we're, it's, we're so challenged as human beings to stay afloat, to pay the bills, to keep a roof over our heads, to eat. So all is fair in love. Everything's fair in this game to apply to this. And so, um, so most, they say inspiration, they say everything is 1% inspiration and 99% perspiration. And so I told you I had that symbol when I was a teenager already. It took 24 years to get it to this, to figure it out. And I couldn't do it alone. I had to put together a team of experts, mechanical engineers, machinists, plasma physicists, to help me figure out what I discovered. I took that symbol and I said, it's in the scriptures. It says it makes unlimited energy. I said, make this thing for me. Show, figure out for me what this is. So I have to tell you, that I, I've worn a lot of hats. There's a lot of people wearing other hats that have contributed to this. This is a huge, you wouldn't fill, it could fill up the whole auditorium with all the people who have contributed to this. And, um, and so every, this work is its own reward. Every day is its own reward. And so I'm very, I'm grateful to understand this and know this. And how and apply it in different ways, from saying the name of God to apply it to engineering. I didn't do this to overwhelm people. I didn't do this to convince people that I'm the smartest person on the planet, because I am obviously not. What I did do this for was to convince you that religion is not a four-letter word, mm -hmm. that the Baha'i faith is authentic, the scripture is real, so as to be a springboard for you to investigate and read the scriptures, because most of you are not going to be engineers and make this and do this. A few, one or two of you, probably not, but maybe, can make the next quantum computer based on this once you understand it, how the 396693 works. It's all there. Once you understand where po what polarization is and emanation, how this explains it, when this explains how the underpinning nested, nested vortices work, because that's how I navigate the nozzle. It's, it's called a gimbal, typically, but I use... So, so anyway, you have the answers here. Now, I made very bold claims when I advertised this talk, because I wanted you to come. I wanted people to come. When I put that brochure up in the magazine uh, or on their website, you know, I was, the, I was not on their roster. I was not invited to be here. A friend of a friend introduced me to the director Two weeks be I didn't know I would be in the continental U.S. I don't travel anymore. I don't have the strength. I get nothing done. But I had to be here. I had a court date, a legal problem. And so I had to come. And so I said, well, as long as I'm here, when I'm here, I stir up the waters. I become like a hornet's nest. People don't know that about me. But, and so my friend introduced me to the director. The director gave me this best spot, 11 a.m., because it's in the morning. And it's, and, but most people are already gone. This is Monday. The, the convention ended Sunday. 
So I was a guest. I wasn't in the email. I wasn't in the brochure. They stuck me on the website just two weeks ago at the back of it saying post-conference speaker. So you guys are special. You're, for me, you're the elect, you're the invited because nobody knew this even existed. Okay, and I did this presentation because you never know when your moment's up and your life's over and I wanted to preserve this. And this is by far the best documentation, the best presentation, the best images and graphics that have ever existed a million fold on vortex based mathematics so far. So, thank you. All done. Can you see sure. my